So this time we're making a short rose hat and uh, we have something similar to this. It's called Easy Knitted Two Color Beanie Hat. But this time I'm making it thicker, no, very fluffy. Now this is the Karen Latte Cakes and I'm using two of them at the same time. So you need two or take take uh, from the inside and the outside. I think you would have enough with one. So and let's see the needles that I'm using or these are this is the the mindful collection from Knitter's Pride which is wonderful. And I'm using size US 13 which is the same as nine millimeters. Okay so what I did is that I cast it on 35 stitches and the first row you're going to knit all the way through and come back and knit. So I am going to do that and I'll come back for the next row. Okay, so row around number two. I knitted 31 and then do not knit the last four. Just turn and now I want to hug or wrap that stitch on my right hand needle. So what I, ha I have my yarn in the front I want to bring this yarn to my left hand needle without knitting. This yarn is going to go to the back and then this stitch I am going to return it. So see how that yarn, the working yarn is hugging that stitch there. And now I will return with the 31 stitches. Row number three, I knitted 28 stitches. Once you knit the 28, you turn. Do not knit these here. Your yarn is in front. And with your left needle, you're going to take that stitch from your right hand needle, pass it through. The yarn is going to go from the front to the back and bring that stitch back to your right hand needle. So now it's wrapped. See the yarn is wrapped around that stitch here. It's hugging it. So now I'm going to knit the 28 stitches back. Okay, round number four. So, little notes here. I have a little stitch marker on the right side, which is the one that I count the stitches, not the return. And I also have a little piece of paper to signal where I'm at because it's, you know, just to keep track of where I'm at. Okay, so now I worked. 25 stitches, turn, bring my stitch to the left hand needle, bring the yarn to the back, bring the, the stitch back to your right hand needle so the yarn is hugging it and then knit the 25 stitches back. Row number five, I knitted 22 stitches, turn, hug that stitch on your right hand needle, bring your yarn to the back, bring that stitch back, and knit the 22 stitches back. See these stay there.
and on row number six, unit 19, turn, hug that stitch on your right hand needle, and knit the 19 back. Okay, so I repeated rows one, two, six, eight times, and that gives me 19 inches. And I really don't want much more because first I have a small head, second, because this stitch is very, very stretchy. You don't want it to loose around your head. So I am going to bind off and I will be back. Okay, so I'm binding off regular bind off. So you knit and pass the one before over. Knit and pass the one before over. Knit and pass the one before over. So now I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut only one short, so maybe like there, and that's the one I'm going to weave, and then the other one I'm going to cut long because that's the one that I want to use for sewing. Alright, so there we go. And I'm going to pass this yarn through just because I want to feel secure that it's nice and tight. All right, so now I'm going to take my sewing needle. Remember that this is the right side of your work. And I am going to be sewing one side with the other. So this is another way of putting things together that it's very nice. So you take only one stitch. So you kind of go from one stitch to another on one side. And then take one stitch, only one stitch. And then take another one from here. Because you want the bumps to keep being there. So there. And from here to here. And you can see it because the bumps are separating it, see? So from one side to the other. And I will come back to show you how it looks. This is where the seam is and you can see it's almost impossible to know where it is. So about three inches before the end you stop sewing and because this is going to become a brim. So you want to put your needle toward the inside. Let me show you how the inside looks. This is the seam and you can see that it's pretty flat. So now you want to sew the last part on the inside of your hat. So I am going to sew all the way to the end so that this part is nicely finished. And I will see you in a bit. So now I'm going to weave in all the ends, secure this, 
and I will take some pictures. I need to tell you what I did here is that I passed my yarn through up and down, up and down the bumps around the top and just passed the yarn through to the other side, to the inside. And that's it. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe. Thank you.